Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this topic. So finding the limits of trigonometric functions, then we have this given. So the limit of sine 3x over 5x as x approaches to 0. So from this trigonometric limit theorem that the limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches to 0, that's equal to 1. Or the limit of theta over sine theta as theta approaches to 0 also equal to 1. Or the limit of 1 minus cosine theta over theta as theta approaches to 0, that's equal to 0. So from this given, using this trigonometric limit theorem, from this equation, but observe, that the denominator must be equal to the angle. So since in the given, the angle is 3x, so we need to have 3x in the denominator. So to make 3x in the denominator, since we have this x, so we just need to multiply both sides by 3. Then simplify, so we have the limit as x approaches to 0, then multiply, so we have 3, then sine 3x, then for this uh, denominator, we need to combine this x and 3, so we have 3x, then times 5, so times 5, then observe now in our new equation, we have this sine 3x, over 3x, the same with sine theta over theta, and that's equal to 1. So therefore, the limit as x approaches to 0, so we have this 3 over 5, then times this sine 3x over 3x is equal to 1. So to find out the final answer, since no more variables in the given, so therefore, the limit is 3 over 5. Then for this given, so since the angle in the numerator is 4x, so we need to have 4x in the denominator. So just multiply both sides by 4x. Then for the denominator, the angle is 7x, so we need to have 7x in the numerator. So again, just multiply both sides by 7x. Then simplify, so we have now the limit as x approaches to 0. So we have this sine 4x. Then we need to put 4x as the denominator, then times this sine 7x, and we need to put this 7x as the numerator, then times the remaining, that's 4x over 7x. Then using the trigonometric limit theorem that sine 4x over 4x the same with sine theta over theta that's equal to 1 so this one is equal to 1 and this 7x over sine 7x the same with theta over sine theta also equal to 1 then times this 4x over 7x, so we can cancel this x, so we have 4 over 7. Then to find the final answer, since no more variables, so therefore, this limit is equal to 4 over 7. Then for this given, so using this trigonometric limit theorem, from this equation, so therefore, since the given angle is 3x, so we need to have 3x in the denominator. Since 6x can be factored out as 2 times 3x, 
So we have now the limit as x approaches to 0, then 1, minus cosine 3x, then we have this 3x, then times 2. Then from this theorem, that's equal to 0 and 1 minus cosine 3x over 3x. This one is equal to 0. So we have now the limit as x approaches to 0. So that's 0 times 1 over 2. So therefore, the limit is equal to 0 times 1 half. That's 0. Then for this given, so again, since the given uh, angle in the numerator is 5x, so we need to multiply both sides by 5x. And for the denominator, since the given angle is 2x, so we need to multiply both sides by 2x. Then simplify, so the limit of x approaches to 0, so we have 1 minus cosine 5x, then we need to put this 5x as the denominator, then times this sine 2x, and put this 2x as the numerator, then times the remaining, that 5x over 2x. Then using this uh, theorem, so this one is equal to 0, this 2x over sine 2x, that's equal to 1. So we have now the limit as x approaches to 0. So this one is 0. That's 1. Then times cancel x. So this one is 5 over 2. Then since 0 times 1, that's 0. And 0 times 5 over 2, that's 0. So the limit is equal to. Zero.